是从大概初中的时候开始接触 DOTA 这款游戏，呃，因为当时没有没有网吧给我去嘛，然后家里也没有电脑，就跑去那种呃局域网那种小类似那种办公室那样的小黑黑网吧吧，算是，但是没有没有网络，只有无线网，就局域网。当时其实我打刀塔之前在打，当时是 CS，CS 1.6 啊、呃，然后和我就是家里的朋友一起，还有我哥哥，然后呃呃，因为我们那时候打 1.6 是就算是打半职业吧，就是也是在和呃突然有一天就有一个朋友他说打完 CS 之后，他说他去玩就一个叫刀塔的游戏，然后后面。我们就当时我也比较好奇嘛，然后我也去跟他玩了，然后玩了之后我就觉得很好玩，然后之后就打 CS 时间慢慢变少，然后打到的时间变慢慢变多了嘛。刚开始接触刀塔的时候，应该就是我十岁的时候吧，就十年前的时候，那时候是因为各个的。各看看到各个在玩，所以才跟着他一起玩的，就这样开始打，到他，然后和几个朋友玩这个魔兽争霸，然后突然有一天朋友跟我说这个地图很好玩，然后我们试了一下，确实很好玩，就是玩到了大概二零一四年左右，嗯，二零一四年，二零一三年吧，二零一三年接触了职业队，然后。去了危机，开始了 DOTA 的这款游戏。啊 ，DOTA 这款游戏刚出来的是，就是刚出来的时候，那种就是国际服那个时候，啊，然后那个时候就玩了一下，但是后面就主要那时候还在上学，没什么时间玩，所以每周大概也就两天时间玩一下，啊，然后那个时候是就是 DOTA 一和 DOTA 二就是来回着玩，然后后面。到大概高二的时候，就一直在玩刀塔了，因为那个时候已经就想打职业了，然后也是因为当时看了比赛，就感觉打职业很好吧，很爽，所以就从高二开始吧，一直玩了，然后就上学的时候看他们打比赛，感觉挺一般的，然后我，然后我就，呃。就感觉自己蛮厉害，然后就打。然后至于职业呢，就是当时 Max 搞了一个选拔赛，就是虽然就是给天地上那些玩家一些机会嘛，去参加。然后当时我就报名参加了嘛，然后参加了一下就选中了，就这样，就,就莫名其妙的就也我也没有什么特别强,强烈的成为职业选手的那种想法，但就是这样就成为了。伟哥来老干爹应该是那次换人吧，就是，呃，当时天哥和嗯蔡哥嘛，然后他们两个觉得想休息，不想打了，然后我也转到了四号位，然后当时吹了个五号位和三号位嘛，就是、他就是经常看我录像嘛，看我那个 T I 那时候预选还啊海选的时候啊也有打预选啊预选的时候那些录像嘛，就觉得哎我这个。他还可以啊，觉得我这个打法比较适合当时的 LGD 嘛，但是当时就他就就比较想要我过去嘛。LGD, they can see Solo for a split second. They jump in, but Solo also initiates Pasher to the back line. He did it again. He got the doom on the on the freaking Terra wave. What can he do apart from be pulled out? There's your save. That's the way to disengage. Chalice pulls everyone home with the Dark Rift. 我带来的。可能我是因为，因为我是一个东南亚选手吧，就给大家带来一些比较有一些独特的新鲜感。过后我们成员也是蛮年轻的，所以融能融合融合在一起就比较容易，所以可能就嗯就这样吧。他给对我带来的就。很多东西，因为他感觉他虽然年纪不大，但是他整个人很沉稳，嗯，然后到了，因为我们几个人都属于我们四个，其他四个人吧，都属于比较冲动的那种性格，嗯，就很需要一个沉稳来
沉稳的人来拉住我们，所以我觉得他是可以扮演这种角色的，并且他也是做到了。然后后来，我觉得我们能拿到预选赛的成绩，应该是我们这支队伍很年轻化，然后适应版本适应的很快，然后打法风格都大家很相似，然后转风格转变也很快。拿下真正杯应该给了我们很大的自信吧，就是觉得当时我们也击败了液体嘛，对吧？击败液体拿决赛，就是就给我们一种感觉，就是我们可以战胜任何强队，就这种感觉。They'll get there, still fresh, still new, but I think LGD earned this axe. LGD, no better player, no better looking player to hold up that axe or Battle Fury than Fy himself. 呃，我觉得是给我们整支队伍吧，都给了很足的信心，因为就我们是从没有积分到一下遇到排行榜前三，其实是一个很快的过程。Drop, but he's got the ages. He's going to be back for round two. Miracle getting held in place. The Yules up into the sky. Yules upon Yules upon Yules. The jump from Army. He's just too strong. They finished off Miracle. Four dead on Liquid. Make that five. GG is cool, ladies and gentlemen. LGT are your epicenter major champions. PSG LGT, ladies and gentlemen. That trophy looking pretty good right now. Yeah, it looks amazing. I used to win those, but not anymore. Look at the smiles there. 真中杯夺冠的话，其实我觉得要比 M D L 夺冠意义要重大很多。算是因为真中杯强队很多，呃，也是中国的第一个 major 的冠军，也是我们五个人在一起的第一个冠军，而且是一个很有分量的冠军。我觉得是给了我们非常多的自信吧，这个比赛。可以可以说是，嗯，但是你要说的话，呃，可能各方各面都有吧，就是，但我觉得好的比较多吧。所以这样的比赛，嗯，因为在 T I 之前很近了，所以确实是给了我们很多的自信吧，也是证明了我们是有实力拿冠军的。嗯，夺冠肯定。那我们就有信心，就在 T I 上打得更好。T I 第一天三个一比一，呃，是这样的，我们当时在国内。一直在训练嘛，然后打法体系跟国内队伍也很相近，就是没有取了特别先进的东西，然后还是打法一成不变的样子。当时小组赛的话，我就觉得就是我们打之前嘛，就是我们的教练三五七对我们说，就是哎，我们今天这个比分不说六比零也得五比零吧，当时是这么想的嘛，就这么说的。但是就是当时一方面是因为。可能在那个，因为是在酒店房间里面打的吧，然后就是我们的那种气氛不是很高涨嘛，就可能没有太多热情，就影响到了我们一些发挥。再加上当时，就当时我们还没有理解到一些东西，就是主要是在就是 BP 的理解上和对就是再加上自己可能就是因为各方各面其实都都是联系在一起的，就不管是 BP 还是说打的什么的，就就是我们当时就是就是跟我们想象中的我们不太一样。就可能就是导致我们第一天失利嘛，然后那之后我们都就也没有缓过来嘛。我们可能是还没有发挥出来吧，就还没有嗯打得不是很好。因为首先，其实，在 T A 之前我们训练了很多，但是呃，我觉得其实 T A 之前我们训练的，嗯、呃，可能在比赛中。仅仅提供的是我们保持的这种状态。我们在 T I 第一天
成绩没那么理想，主要是因为可能我们跟国内的队训练比较多吧。就第一天我们的对手都是一些呃不是国内的，不是不是国内的对手，所以就理解就没那么深。所以，是，我们三个一比一，纯靠个人实力吧。就是勉强打了打了个一比一，嗯，其实那天还好吧，就是我们输了，自己去总结了一下，就是想一下以后怎么打。一天我们有去讨论了，就改变了一些打法之类的东西，过后才慢慢调整，所以我们接下来的比赛才才会打得那么出色，比较好。RG's trying to hold on to it. Warlock, Cerberus damage on the Nurn. Tell Laguna from Sunless will get the kill. And they're looking for a little bit more. The Sun will connect onto the Weaver. A swap away. He needs time to time lines. Actually, no, he'll just run back into base. Tops can come back to the world of the living, but how much has he really got? He's not even level 15. He doesn't even have that second arcane bolt available or the seal. And they realize it. They call it GG. The nukage doesn't work. The cores don't work. And LGD have an answer to absolutely every hit, everything OG were throwing at them. Yeah. 当时和 OG 一比，也没有觉得他们特别强吧，因为他们之前也没有去参加过什么大比赛，然后跟我们训练过，就是大家觉得就是也不是特别厉害吧。当时 OG 这个队给我的感觉就他们的是一个很很注重友情的一个团队吧，就他给我们给我的感觉就他们气氛不管是怎么样都很好。不会，队员们也不会很失落、很低落这样的。但我们当时训练，其实就是怎么说呢？就感觉 O T 不是很强，但是这个队就是很有韧性，就是你能明显的感觉出来，就是在托布桑和阿娜加入之后，就他们他们的那个韧性真的很强，他们不会错过任何一个机会，他们就总是很想赢，就总是就紧追不舍，就那种感觉，就是就很难缠，只能就这样吧。就他们的实力可能不是很强，但他们，但他们的就是一些态度跟那些那种东西，就是就绝对是其他所有队伍里面最强的。Megas are up and running, but the jump forward Anna right on top of X Nova. Say goodbye to your line, but he'll come straight back again thanks to his buyback. But Chalice isolated. He still doesn't have reincarnation back up again, and this really is the game. There's no way LGD can try and defend this, even with the scythe onto the Morphling. He could potentially just buy back and come into the fight. That's exactly what's going to happen. Ame turns on the flag cannon, but he's getting stunned up so much. Echo slam from GRX. They're looking for as much control as they possibly can, but the relocate pulls him back into safety. L. LGD, they're holding the line, but up against a swarm of OG. Somers jumps forward again. He does not have that Reaper Scythe available. Seb, I found the line. It's Somers over on the edge. Fissure to hold him there. Sunstrike to finish the job. And then they go up for more after the IO, after the man who's keeping Arme up with his flak and a damage. It's pretty decent, but not decent enough. There's just not enough follow up. The AoE Deathling Blast, the GRX coming in for Dunk, and LGD, there really is no more joy to be had here. GG. Well played. OG will get a draw in the game against LG. Um, in OG, just just in OG, in OG, when we were playing OG, um, before we were playing OG, we were pretty confident. Because in the training, we were playing OG, we were pretty confident. But after playing OG the first day, I was just aware and felt that our state of mind was not enough. We couldn't win. Because 嗯，当你一个选手打一个系列赛的时候，你会知道，就你从你的比赛状态，就是整体状态，你就可以知道你大概可以打到什么位置。我我的预想是他们没不是一个那么强的队伍，主要主要是因为他们比较团结吧，所以才才证明了自己他们是可以打到很好的。EG need to be able to contest this epicenter. Chalice, I'm waiting for it. The virus strike comes forth, but then the curse. It's only Weaver beating into an enraged Ursa, and Samel hits the back lines onto Somnus. LGD, I thought for a moment they had it, but I thought wrong. Looking for his target, jump into the back lines, and there's Clinks and the damage. They still don't kill off the partner. El Sol ripping back up. Somnus is on the run. The terrorize. He'll buy a little bit of space, but Tiny, actually the curse crown. Somnus is able to outrun this. Charles, of course, did die for the cause. Undying. Oh, 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 o
it over, lets the Splinter Blast go. So Undying will buy him back to be part of this fight once more. But so much time is wasted. The game is done. They're delaying the inevitable. GG, well played. A 2-0 victory for evil geniuses. And that is the dream run for them in this group stage. That day, we lost to Ling Biao. Then, uh, let us increase our understanding of the game. Yeah, that Ling Biao is a very strong team. Then, we did not do well in this game. Then, we summarized it. Then, also, let us. 后面选人变得不一样了吧，就是更注重线，因为就是太，本来就只能说自己就是打得不够，再加上自己不是很那种，就是不是特别热情的那种，很气氛，就是不管是 BP 的时候还是打的时候，我们都没有那种很积极的就参与进去，就也不能说不认真，但就是那种不是特别亢奋的那种状态。就那之后我们就是意识到了这个问题嘛，然后就是就想办法让整个团队就是活跃起来、亢奋起来嘛，那之后。呃，然后，呃，自从硕一就让我们开完会，就讨论之后，然后一直在赢，然后肯定是越打自己越自信。然后，呃，小组赛结束之后，呃，看到分组，我们觉得，呃，其实还挺难打的，因为我们那一组，我们如果想到决赛的话，是要先打 VP， 再打李逵，再打上面的一个胜者组冠呃决赛的这个，所以。从各个角度出发，阵容，嗯、呃，我觉得主要是阵容。我们当时阵容对阵容没有统一，所以导致选起人来很吃力，并且就导致打起来，嗯、呃，大家不在一个节奏上，所以就输了。我觉得理所应当。主要还是针对现优吧，像一季就是特别重视现优的，就他们选的英雄啊，还是。还是说，出来对线的时候那种分路的选择，就他们就是在针对你的对线，然后他们就是在利用一些优势，加上他们自己的一个人实力，其实他们其实他们的队伍打法跟我们很像嘛，就是他们就是利用一些，就是你可能看起来搭配上可能不怎么样好的阵容，但就是线上很厉害，然后线上扩大优势之后，再依靠一些个人能力跟节奏，就是慢慢的压制你、压迫你，就是这样，就我们就。其实我们也是这种打法，所以我们就一下就很快的就学到了他们那种打法，就理解了。就主要还是就是 BP 上就是偷学他们一些思路，就主要就是这样。其实预选那个小组赛我就没想到我们的成绩会那么差吧，但是也也能说是幸运吧，我们达到了前四，胜者组出现过后。就我们团队，感觉在小组赛的时候就气氛没那么好，但是到了现场，在在台上打的时候，我们气氛就会比较好，就能看看得出我们，呃，小组赛跟现场出现过后的那个那个那个那个分别吧。嗯。觉得我们就是并没有什么想太多，什么期望啊，什么就只是想着，就是准备好对付下一场我们的对手，就是去研究对手什么的，准备好一些东西，就所以期望什么的都没有，应该都没有这么想过，就只想怎么战胜下一场对手。呃，进入主赛事就期望打得快一点吧，就是感觉这次 TI 进程进程很慢，然后打得也很疲惫，当时也没有其他想法吧。就觉得队伍打法还可以，就打这个小组赛就进步了很多，然后也理解了不少东西，就很期待吧。然后当时，但是其实当时我们还是挺有自信的，因为我们觉得想拿冠军的话，呃，不管是什么嘛，不管是谁嘛，就肯定都要打打看嘛。MVP 的这个东西，就我觉得我们每个人都打得很好吧，在那那场比赛，我记得第一场的时候，我们是呃有一个
很大的劣势，但是就一场，就等到了一波机会，他们犯了一些错误，我们才把那场比赛拿下来了。Ame revealing himself. They are still smoked up on the high ground. The remnant is down as well. VPE. They're walking right into all the vision in the world and maybe going right for the initiation as well. Well, they missed. Black hole hits onto nothing. Masha can't make it happen. And now, LGD potentially has an opening here. No one. There's going to be the Avatar boy. They drop down the boat as well. It's still looking okay for VP. They're trying to bring down one. Can they kill him off in time? FY is going to die. They're buying back onto immediately back into this fight. But they have the X onto Ame. The tombstone is up on the high ground and maybe trying to create some chaos. He's doing a good bit of work, but down to very low HP. They're tearing him apart. VP is starting to. Die. They kill off yet another chalice, making it work. Can they kill off Silence for the visage? Ramsey is gonna die. They're dead forever. Maybe found his moment. He baited out that black hole flawlessly, and then the never doubt Dota Plus. That's what I'm learning. They don't have here. buyback, Trent. They are losing this tier three tower. The only heroes alive are the Enigma and the Bait, and they're calling for the tier four towers. PSG, LGD, they smell blood, and they're coming hunting. GG is called from no one. Are you kidding me? No one. It was not there, and LGD sees their moment. One fight. One fight was all it took for them. Maybe just so perfect after such a difficult game. 就是我们跟 VP 交手了很多次吧。我个人就感觉没那么大压力，就我们也比较懂得彼此。的打法之类的，过后，在我心目中，嗯，就每个每个队友都打得很出色吧，那场。The silence is going to be there as well. Pasha's dead from Zombies as well. They buy back on the Mirana X Nova, chasing forward on no HP, but FY is going to be there as well. And there's the Laguna Blade onto the Kunkka, does not even get to cast his ship as Ramsey's also being ran. And LGD, what are you doing? You're just tearing at him. They're going for the Armor Toggle, but it's not enough. They take down the bottom tier three tower. Ame containing so much space. They actually might be able to kill off this Terra Blade, but is he going to be able to get out of there? They've got it. No one in trouble. Running over the corpses of Vertus Pro. Box for the moment. They still are tearing into the tower solo with nowhere really left to go, and he's going to get punched to death. Ame striking forward, asserting dominance over the captain of Vertus Pro, who bought back. So they don't have this pain in the next fight, and it might not even be a fight to be honest. The way that this is going, LGD just walking over them. No one trying to get it back with the Shiva's guard. Slow down this pressure that's coming. But this looks like it's going to be the second set of racks, and GG is called. Eventually, LGD stomp over him. That was an emphatic victory from LGD. They never really lost. Oh, if we play VP, it will be easier. But just their VP in TI is not very good. We play it is easier. 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 感觉可能就对后面的比赛啊什么的，就是可能会产生问题吧，就是其实没什么高涨的心情，就是在想，在反思吧。击败 VP 之后，更加自信了呗。嗯、呃，就是觉得，哎，不管是我觉得，不管是击败谁吧，对我们，至少对我自己来说吧，我觉得都是应该的，因为。其实我觉得当时我们就是状态很好，并且大家理解很统一。击败 VP 其实还好吧，就是，嗯，我们自己也觉得可以赢他们。然后讨论最多的还是后面的对手吧，比如我们打完 VP 就要打液体，对吧？就是，嗯，突然两种风风格不一样的队伍，就是我们要去想很多应对液体的办法。不管是打谁，只要是。并且我们是想夺冠，并且我们也认为自己会夺冠，所以我觉得可能大家都是这样吧。不管打谁，就当时想的基本就是，不管打谁你就只管赢就好，就、嗯、你也不用太在乎他是谁。然后他是越强的对手，你越要战胜他，因为你既然想夺冠，你就要把那些最厉害的全都赢了。
smoke pops. This is a long trek. It's got to be a little bit careful not to be too far out of position. They're ready to go with the relocate out if necessary. Miracle's going to try and go for the kill. We missed out on the stun. The BKB activates before the Fisher hit. Now he turns and just immediately goes for Matumbo. Well, the back line challenge. That's a take out to him. Michael Miracle wants to get right. He goes for the back line. Hurtshaker set it down with the call down on top of him. The top of him. Can the bottom lane relocate. relocate the bottom lane? Let's go, baby. PSG LGD are going to force this out of Liquid. They've got to force the buybacks. Then it's catch the edge as well. Play it fast. Play it clean. And PSG LGD. Might just be able to win this game so fast. Actually, in TI, I was looking at the TI, I was looking at the TI, and 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 I was the TI, 就可能其其他队的准准备比较好吧，比较充分。嗯，当时击败利奎之后，啊、呃，我觉得就是自信是肯定会有的。呃，小心呢，只能说你这是尊重对手，也在就是尊重比赛。They're going to be able to hit some spirits on the challenge. So Longus here, the call down is going to come in. There's still a double damage on the Somnus. So Liquid have to be careful with this engagement to try and go for the rupture toss combination with the Fisher stopping him from being able to relocate out. That was a beautiful hit. Micro comes in a bit too late, fighting into a blade mill. He's going to try and finish on Somnus, but it just doesn't happen fast enough. The Echo Sam, GH fought back for all of that. Please hit Micro Trolls last. The LGLTD. They know what it is. Oh, but the jump! The Echo Sam hits the toss as well. The Tumble Man almost falls. Gets GH does manage to heal him out a decent amount, so he only take out the Wiz. My control tries to come in again. The Blade Mail is such a problem for him. The call down is going to come in. They have to slow down a lot of PSG LGD. In fact, maybe might go down. The Blade is going to come out. They have so much fight. Can it do it? He survives off the kill. He heals. And it slaughters Liquid inside of their own base. GH, that's a dieback for him. It's only Miracle and Mind Control now. After he won Liquid, he will have to play with OG and OG. 所以当时，所以当时就准备下场比赛嘛。跟液体是老对手了嘛，交流过很多次，我们很了解他们嘛。再加上我们也赢过他们很多次，当时对这个也没有太多想法的。当时其实我的感觉是，因为液体打的感觉也挺差的。啊，我就觉得没有一个战队是我们赢不了的，就。当时的我们是很有信心能能赢 TI 的。其实就是，因为我们本来是觉得 EG 可能要比 OG 强一点，因为从小组赛来看的话，呃，那既然 OG 可以赢 EG 的话，就证明他肯定是比 EG 厉害的。在 TI 这个舞台上面，只要你可以赢对手，那你必然是比对手强的。实际上就感觉，嗯，就我说一下我个人感觉吧，就感觉这个 OG 这个队跟其他队打起来就不一样，就他们真的就是韧性很足，就想法很多。就特越练，你就能越感觉得到，就是那种就很难打进去。他不像别的队，但是第三场，第三场就可能是因为我们中期有一有一波领先这很大的优势，但是就因为可能太过兴奋而导致一些判断失误吧，才造成。就可能是因为这样，我们才每个判断比较冲动，所以才才会这样就输输掉了第三把。OG right behind Ame, gets the jump, finds the partner, Vision will not find a stun partner with no buyback, OG, they were really playing with fire, the Hex is out in the Terra Blade, Spectral Haunt looking for the front line attack, but that's why Somnus goes into the back line, on the front Shaker, the BKB, they're into the back line, Shaker, he's bouncing around, Haunt shot as she stuns all the way through, he has his gun, no buybacks available, have LGD done it, they're holding Anna, hold him in place, Chalice will find the damage, F5 will die for it, no really, Anna is actually Actually running away, but it worries up Arme from blinking up, looking for the tier three tower. 
two players left alive for OG. They're the big ones, however. And now the jump out. Hex, the boy in the bubble. Thompson able to be protected once again. Chalice, very, very low on mana. They have a lot, but Arme, he'll change the life with Anna. Thompson needs to be pushed away. Able to do so. FY jumps onto the illusion only, so the hookshot won't be able to connect. But Anna, he needs to retreat. There's so much damage. Anna, 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 down. Buyback is available. They still have not taken the mid racks. OG are just trying to delay LGD for the moment. Sunder! FY once begins to Sunder! Switches the life. Armies back up to full health. When the damage from Thompson, it's good enough to kill up the main. Buyback is there. Thomas leaves forward. They just keep bunching them around, but they're still battling from inside the bubble. Partner will come to the world, living LGD. They're going for the GG push. They're going after the tier 4 towers. OG, they have to hold the line. They have the numbers. Seb in from the side with a day gone. Army, but no! Sunder is back up! It is there! Chalice will fall. They lose the Enchantress. FY pushing around Anna. He's so low. Can they get the die back on him? You bet your Nelly they can. Arme still very, very low. The blast will kill him off. But buyback. LGD want this now. LGD, or can they? Back enough? No, they're not. Terribly. BT's forward. The ball is up. Thompson needs to defend. X Nova very visible. You've got a very, very low life Marana. But OG, they can't find the target. X Nova. He's got the grip. He's got the control. He's got the kill. Thompson is down, but ES is up where the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dump! There's the play! Jirax, the savior of OG! In the last round, the last round, I lost my mind. My mind is not very low. We know that our strength is there. Our strength is better than our own. 才输掉的，但是甚至组输了，我们还是有机会，我们自己觉得还是有机会能再打上去，胜那个决赛的。然后我们那当时还还不是很气馁吧，气氛还是在还在的，直到最后一天。many times they've they reached the grand final, but only of a major, never of TI. Their roster was shattered into pieces. They pull it back. Well, 其实都是我们五个人就是做出来的决定。其实当然输了就是输了，呃，输了就是因为他们打得好，我们打得不好。呃 ，A M E 那个 T V 买活飞鞋嘛，对吧？其实根本就不算他的问题吧，因为既然你一个团队出了角色决定，必须要拿拿到这个基地，对吧？他肯定要尊尊重团队的就是选择嘛，建议。然后。他飞过来，然后我们判断出现了错误呗，然后这个塔并拆不了，其实跟他没有什么关系吧。哦，因为当时他们死了几个人嘛，我们五个人都在，所以我们就决定买火塔。但是，但是他们电狗手家太厉害了，直接打基地的话可能不是很好。呃，当时打天的时候，我们也没有觉得欧吉能拿冠军嘛，就觉得就欧吉很励志吧，就是。大爹很牛逼，就感觉就很传奇吧，欧吉。然后当时冠军觉得还是我们和 EG 吧，就是没有，就我们没有觉得欧吉特别厉害吧，就也可能就是因为我们胜出的决赛就差一点点赢了嘛，然后所以没有觉得欧吉特别厉害。呃，既然我们已经做到了，那输了就是技不如人。嗯，那下次再打回来。呃，因为当时我们还有机会，我们之前的败者组还是有，呃，就打回来夺冠报仇的机会，所以当时心态也没有很受影响吧。然后我们还要备战就第二天的败者组决赛和决赛嘛。
steps forward yet again. The terrorize is out. It's there. The fear, the catch. Is it going to be the kill? They take him down to mail. No buyback for 65 seconds. Great wanting to turn this. He throws back the Rain Fire Blast. Chain Frost bouncing around a little bit, but Arteezy, he went for Ame, couldn't find him. S4 trying to leap away, but he's only going back to the fountain. LGD smell blood. They're going in, maybe pressing forward. And they find themselves the kill. FY able to take himself another fly, lifted up in the air by the torrent. EG, last heroes left alive. It's a blade mail from Arteezy trying to stem the bleeding, but it's not happening. Another in the grave. EG all out of focus, in trouble, and inside their base. This is looking like it's going to be in as Sumail. Last one alive for the team, dead again. And GG LGD are moving on to the grand finals.我觉得我们一路打到胜出决赛输给了 OG过后 the final two teams vying for the Aegis of Champions. PSG LGD versus OG. T.I.决赛我就感觉我们两个战队都不分上下吧 So fast because the Manta does challenge. Oh, no. Or tries for it, but he's not going to get it in. Oh, straight in! They get the two with the, the slam! Oh! LGD tried to get in there with Saunders, but Jerex was quick with the jump. They're buying back on FYP. She LGD desperately wants to try and take this fight somehow. The No Tops is Wuzman's command. is about to wear off or jump himself out of the side. He's back up to the trees. There's the Winter's Curse holding back the two of the manas in. They're ready to fight this OG despite PSG LGD being the one buying back into it. Jax in with the stun control. They'll burst down Arme. Arme's down for 90 seconds. Chalice drop as well as the Orb from Anna comes out. Splitting LGD apart. Anna into the trees. Looks towards FY. Steps back to avoid the echo storm. Chalice still being chased out by Tops. And one more swipe will do it again. Chalice. They get FY. And Somnus and Exnova just left to try and pull the creep wave away. He'll zip across with Jarrax with the Echo Slap. The Orchid comes out onto the Shaker, the Triumph Return with the Self Fuels, keeps Jarrax alive. He's safe. Somnus trying to run. Fisher, Boundless Strike. Do they have the damage in time? They do! Oh, gee! Pulling off this, these incredible plays. And G, G is cold, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, G! Taking game one of this best of five in the 2018 International Grand Finals. Anna pops the BKB. The tornado's gonna come in the side, catches the two of them. In fact, the three of them setting them up. Somnus gets the BKB out though. Turns with the tiebreaker, hit Jerax. Cut down by Arme as Anna wanting to find Chalice FY. Pops the Echo Sam holding down Thompson on the side. Sets up Arme for the double kill. Somnus cleans them a third. Sam's trying to get out of it, but he's not going to make it. Arme with the triple kill. As the racks up top will fall, Thompson. We're gonna lead him with the combo, but again, the boat straight on top of Anna. Somnus is in. They do manage to get the glimmer careful to Anna. Anna backs away. Thompson with the Ghost Swarm, keeping the himself dust. alive with the dust. They've got the dust. The tops are dead. Tops are gone. It's Jarrett and Anna. Whoa! Chalice again. He's in Patusis. As they look towards the mid lane, and GG is called. Ladies and gentlemen, PSG LGD taking game two, the best of five grand finals here at TIA. Yeah, FY definitely having an awesome.
stuff for fun. And again, the supernova by the base. They are going to try and kill it. Can they kill it off? Can it they can't get it off? off? They just can't kill the sun. As the buyback from No-Tail comes out, but the H is exposed. No-Tail immediately dives after buying back. The Winter's Curse is there onto FY. Will it kill him off? FY is still alive. FY, he'll finally fall. The Dragon Slayer for Jax finishes him off. He'll buy back those. He knows this is LGD's chance to claim this game. Three Somnus continue to be down on the edge of the life trap. Comes out. The Agony was tied. That's from Arme. Keeping Somnus safe. He gets a good coaching out into Jerry's limit dive towards the fountain. His OG is still able to play around it. But the damage from Somnus in those challenges as well with the Primus Bridge. They beat down on the edge of PSG. LGD looking to close this one up. And they will. Game three goes to PSG LGD. 其实第四把，感觉我们的英雄上面，就我们也也有做出了一些一些很大的改变。就前期的时候，我记得我们还是不分上下的，还是五五开的。但是中期有有了一些劣势，但是我们还是打打了回来。过到到了后期，也只能说我们。判断失误吧，有可能太冲动了，所以才才这样错过了那一场比赛。As now FY given the vision, but they see him. The doppelganger to jump away from the snowball. The snowball over to tops into the self fuels. FY trying to buy time for the rest of LGD to come in again up into the air. Arme straight on top of Notel. FY will fall. Arme looking towards Notel. Notel puts the hand of God, but Notel beat it down by Arme and Somnus. Chalice gets the primal split off of Zana. He's been left behind in Thompson. He's got to do something incredible in terms of the combo. Can he find the angle? Jarex coming in, keeping Anna alive. Anna with the doppelganger. The deafening blast comes out onto the two of them. Anna trying to go in, looking for the kill. Can he find it in time? Onto X Nova. He's on. Top of him, try to beat him down. Out again with the doppelganger. Now retreating back towards the base. As the buyback for Jarex comes in, he's healing Anna back up. That buyback could set them up for the kill on X Nova. The cold snap down onto the Ejection. They find him. Oh man, he's out of Anna. He's starting to shift into the strength, but he's surrounded. OG, can they find the ball? They can. OG is still in the game. Arme buys back immediately. Looking to turn his commitment towards Arme. Thompson comes in with a deafening blast from the side. The EMP finishes X Nova off. He's dead for 110 step. Post the BKB. Looks for the cool control onto FY, but FY does get the snowball off in time. Arme looking to get on top of Jarrett, but Thompson turns. They get the hex out onto him. He'll get himself back into the ball. Okay. The BKB's out in time as Arme cuts down Rotel with a waveform, finds the kill. Sam the in again. The call on top of Arme. Arme dead for two minutes. EH in his volley. The hex is out. Down. They're going to be able to find themselves. Challenge three dead on LGD. OG hitting the agent. Hitting the agent. Oh We're God. going to a game five. We are going to a game five. Actually, this is the biggest turning point. Actually, when we defeated the team OG, after they lost their first loot, after they lost their second loot, when they lost their second loot, that was. 那个威慑的员工已经准备在拍我们夺冠了，然后其实当时我觉得他应该也没受那个影响吧，然后可能可能就是也有一点嘛。第四把，我个人觉得最关键就是那一波，就是我没有注意到阿达那个猴子二十五级了，就那一波在中路，就我们就想想把他给杀了嘛。但是就是他，因为二十五级依然那个天赋一直在使用他的二技能嘛，就是就当时我们就我就我错误的判断嘛，就我当时觉得猴子能杀，我因为我没注意到二十五，加上我的那个驱散，我一直在想办法杀他嘛，然后当时就是跟我想的不太一样嘛。
Meta and then TP's coming in. Can they kill him in time? Ame quick with the turn in the Sunder. He's back up to full. There's now Anna rooted down with the Rotomato as he gets the slider fist off. They do have the control on to Ame. Can they kill him in time? Ame will fall. But so will Anna shortly. He's got the flame guard giving him some resistance, but he'll still go down. Thompson using himself up into the air. OG, they found two so far, but Thompson's brought back into the boat from Sunders. They'll get themselves a third. They'll look to No Tail as No Tail fishes to the face from F1. They're confident, knowing Seb can sit there on the high ground, ready for the counter play, Arme, getting sprouted, Chalice, looks to make a play, jumps in, immediately going for it with the lasso, has he got the control to get the damage out, he can, oh, nice. that's going to be hard and dead, Banana buys back straight away, Arme moving in with the BKB, Roshan still alive throughout this all, then lost Thompson, the slide, the change, the run across, they'll get the kill to Chalice, Global. but now Arne, he's in the middle of it all, uses himself up, the flame guard, ticking it right now, like the side of fish, the RP, Seb, he's got the control, all to Arme, as OG, they fight three, they look Towards Saunders, surrounding him in the pit. Saunders, he'll go down as well. The buyback from Anna, securing the fight here for OG. There's only X Nova left alive, but not for long. They chase him down, they get the T-Y triple kill for Anna. And likes himself up, X Nova's got to be careful, he's incredibly low. They're looking to set up with the Tauri. Arme, he's been sprouted, the stolen Fisher from Jarex. Out onto Arme, but then fights him with the slab. Is it enough? No, it's not. LGD, they've lost two yet again. To fight to in return. Anna still alive, the flame guard keeping it fine again. The slider fist cuts down a second double kill for Anna. Chalice surrounded by seven Anna here in the trees as Block and OG get the team wipe. There's all the time for it's people to get Chalice. It's another down. OG, can they get softness on this? He's doing his best to hold 10 seconds before he's got teammates back in Seb. Peeling Somnus away from the fountain. Anna's on top of the Somnus. Down to half hell. He's trying to retreat with the chains. They get themselves another Somnus taken down. Azame with a BKB reflection. Anna starting to be forced back. They have got X Nova and FY back in the game now. No Echo Slam or Global. The Ancient is exposed. As OG, the new no, sound, the shockwave from Seb. Gets themselves another, they're onto the agent. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. They've have done, done it. They have they done it. Have done it. The power of flowers and friendship. I've done it here, ladies and gentlemen. Your grand champions of two. I 我觉得要比任何一支队都好，就目前为止是值得大家去学习的，因为你一支队伍进攻打得好，但是你总有劣势的那一天，所以就是你如果可以把他对劣势局的处理，把他的韧性学过来，就你会变得更强。就比较遗
，然后他们有工作人员过来问，问我们各种那种，就是手上那种戒指的 size 嘛，就过来问，就那些东西，就就那个吧，做做一场梦一样，真的是像做一场梦一样。我们是提早去的加拿大，然后到那，先每天就。出去去网吧训练，然后大家一起去吃饭，嗯、呃，平时还会有一些就是，呃，路边走一走啊，其他的，然后晚上一起大家，呃，走回去，走个十几分钟、二十分钟，有时候会打车回去，反正就是一切都感觉像一场梦一样，就一下很快就过去了，就感觉很快很快，就像你做一晚上的梦，一下就过去了，就当时是这种感觉。